Alright YouTube, I am Remy and we are here for some more Pokemon. Let's see what do we got. Standard team for now. Um, I think this is the team most likely that we are going to fight the gym leader with. In fact, we could probably go and take on a couple of the first trainers in the gym. Probably not going to get to the gym leader though. I'm going to have to do some leveling off camera I think for that. Just to be safe. Not terribly too much, but... Enough. Alright, so the first one always goes to the guy on the right. Or not the first one, the one right in front of you. And immediately in a battle. Now, Phoenix here, right, is going to be our best bet. For everything. And I think my... Headphones are a bit loud. I'm going to turn those down a bit. Just a smidge. If you accept smidge as an adequate word. Um, now, because we are firefighting, we are weak to flying attacks. And Combi could have a flying attack like Tailwind. I don't know what that does. Okay, I guess it just gave it a speed boost or something, maybe? Either way, we one-shot it, which is nice. So yeah, I'm pretty sure Phoenix is going to be our all-star for this. Uh, maybe with an exception on the actual uh, gym leader. And crap, what is Pineco? Hold on, we can test this. Uh, so Pineco is bug. Now... That might mean it would be smarter to use Peck, but I think Ember is smarter because it gives you the stab bonus. Plus, it's a special attack, and I think we're a special attacker, not a physical attacker. But it could be wrong. Either way, we're going to two-shot him, so... Uh, but yeah. The last... The, the actual gym leader has that Scyther. That Scyther, that nodes freaking sword dance and will just kill after it's got set up you're kind of doomed um, so I'm not sure how we're going to deal with that yet I might have to just set up a really good strong physical defense because I think most of its attacks are physical and sword dance is only actually the sword dance do both physical and special I can't remember I thought it was just physical, but it might be both. I think it's Dragon Dance that does both, isn't it? Hmm. I can't remember. Anyway. Um, so yeah, Phoenix was able to solo the first person. I feel fairly confident we can go and take on a few more. The only thing I can think is to put out Lance against Scyther, because Lance will be one of the only Pokemon on our team that is faster than Scyther, I think. Um, we could just go with Meow Fake Out kind of strategy, but that might not be the best course. Um, but I would like to get some levels on 3 here, because 3 could also be a pocket, you know ace in the hole kind of a thing. Um, now I do believe it's this one that gets us out. And I say that three could be that uh, semi-secret weapon simply because the flying attacks are going to get stab bonus and I think soon it learns attacks that are actually good for it. Because I do believe it's a special attacker, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and, I mean, air cutter's fine and all, but it's not the best move in the book. Although it did just one-shot something that was a couple levels over him, so... Maybe it's a little better than I give it credit for. Alright, Ladybug getting dizzy-punched. Oh, crap. It's a normal attack, isn't it? Holy crap, okay. We are withdrawing you three, because that was baloney. Alright, um... 
I guess we'll have to go with Phoenix here. Could've gone with Lance, could've gone with Meow, but Phoenix is who we're pinning all our hopes on, so... Okay, please don't be as effective as it was on three. Okay, good. Seriously, really? Ice Punch isn't gonna do bugger all. I can't believe it took that many embers. I wonder if Lady Ba or Lady In or whatever has a very good special defense. That's probably why. Um. Uh, no, we'll stay in. We'll stay in. The worst thing it probably has is Bug Bite, and we knocked it out in one shot anyway, so. Squappy? And I forget if this is just bug or if it's like bug rock, a weird mixture kind of thing. Either way, we're switching out because I don't like Phoenix being that low on something that I'm pretty sure I can't one-shot. And we'll be able to do the meow fake out. As per usual. Uh, then let's go hypnosis and miss, of course. Pen Missile, we might have to withdraw Meow. Oh, it only hit twice, then I am going to go ahead and use a Potion on Phoenix here, right? And we'll bring Phoenix back out and see if can't deal with this Quirky. Because if it is Bug Rock, I think fighting is good, maybe? I could be wrong about that. And this pin missile does absolutely nothing to Phoenix, so... It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Alright. We'll try an Ember, just to see. Freaking Leer, man. Oh! Yeah, it is super effective. Okay. Well, let's just double kick it, just so we don't waste Embers. I don't know. Variety. Flavor. Double kick, and you're gone. That was kind of a weird sound. And level 20, Phoenix. Awesome, awesome. Okay. So, I'm gonna go heal up, I think, actually before we continue on. Alright. It's kind of annoying having to sit through the little bug crawly things, but... Uh, yeah, we'll talk to you, mother. Hello? Oh, how are you? Found a useful item, blah de blah Used your money to buy it. So we can also pick that up. I should probably also get some more potions while I'm at the mart. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon. It's the whole reason I ever talk to you. At least in this game, if it were real life, I'm pretty sure you would be quite hot and I would talk to you all the time. Regardless of how injured my Pokemon are. All right, what you got for me? A repel. Not immediately useful, mother, but sure. Guess, thanks. All right, um, I guess we can go for super potions. You can only get five of them, though. All right. To the gym! Yet again. A stupid old man. Cramping my style, old man. Almost walked onto the wrong one. Okay. 
And I think this sends me to the double battle. Was not anticipating that. I thought it sent me to the other one. Not a good move. Just not a smart move. Because I, as I recall, this double battle is actually kind of annoying. I think it starts off with the Volbeat Illumis combo. Yeah, or Illumis Volbeat, whatever. So we got three in Phoenix. Okay, those are the ones that I would pick. Because Air Cutter hits both. And Ember is just awesome. We're going to get rid of this Volbeat first. Or Illumis first. Illumis? Oh, snap! No, not good. We need to get you out of there, three. Critical hit, super effective. One shot, one kill. Good job, Phoenix. You leveled up three, even. Nice. Reflect. Um, which one is Reflect? Reflect is physical attacks. We can get rid of Uproar. No, we'll get rid of Tackle. Well, we'll get rid of Uproar, because it messes with your... Hypnosis. Technically, Uproar is a more powerful attack, but it's a commitment attack, and it messes with another move he has, and that really didn't do as much damage as I hoped it would. And so these things have flying in them. Lance, you're coming out. Alright, let's get rid of this Dust Ox, because the Dust Ox is just a wild card. I mean, it can learn psychic moves, it can learn... I know the other one has electric moves, but Lance can take that. Dust Ox. Might not. Okay, it's just Gust. Of course, that's a freaking flying move. Okay, super effective. Got it. Thundershock the Dust Ox. Quick attack. Not gonna matter at all. Oh, come on now. Take out the Dust Ox, thank you. Next we got a Volbeat and a Beautifly, which should be easy. Okay. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll switch it up like that. Simply because I'm not sure if Volbeat is an electric type, or if it's just bug flying. I would expect it to be Bug Electric, but it might be Bug Flying, I don't know. So it's better to play it safe. That just killed freaking Phoenix! What the hell? Our trump card just got trumped. That's not cool, man. That's really not cool. I think we need to put Tess in. Soak up some of this XP that Lance is about to drop. Okay. Go on, then. Ah, I can't believe we just lost Phoenix, but, you know, it was a Pokemon that was just given to me for answering questions, like, wrong eight times and then right once. Okay. Regen. Blah -de blah Bug bite. Took you back down to where you were. Bite attack. And... You know what, we're gonna... No, 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 Bug Bite gets a stab bonus. That was a worthless quick attack. And you are so close to dead, it's not even funny. I should have quick attacked just to out quick attack the quick attack. Still no level for Tess, man. You feel a bit dizzy? Wonder why. So I can't believe Phoenix just died, man. All right, we're gonna go heal up again. And then I'll try, uh... See, I don't... I don't know if I should take on this last trainer or not this episode. Man, Phoenix died. So I'm trying to... I can't quite remember everybody we have in the PC. We might have some okay subs, but none of them are going to be as good as Phoenix. For this gym, at least. 
All right, Phoenix. Yeah. Sorry, but you got to go. Your your life was short-lived. Oh, not not Mark. Release. Bye, Phoenix. All right, so now Phoenix is gone. We can talk some smack about him. Uh, wait, what is his overgrow? Sandvale shell armor. See, like, uh, if these two weren't so low, I might. I'm gonna have to level these guys up. I'm gonna have to level Tess up, and I'm gonna have to level Polly up, and three. Uh, whichever one I pick, Shrew or Chowder? Shrew or Chowder? I'll take Chowder just because it's defensive. And I foresee them having flying attacks, which is going to be bad against a ground Pokemon. A couple of them might know electric attacks if they have a Volbeat or Illness, but... Uh, I have lands to deal with anything electric. Lands might have to pull it pull it off for this gym again as well. That kind of makes me sad. Um, three did level to 17, though. That's good. Ah, oh, man. Shell armor is a good ability, but... for physical defense... And I probably could set up, like, if I start with three and put up a screen or a flex or whatever. And then switch out to Chowder. We would have a really freaking defensive team. Alright, let's take on this last guy. You saved all the Slowpoke! Ooh, you're mighty! But my grown-up Pokémon are pretty tough, too. I don't know why he has this weird kind of slow, drawn-out voice. But he does. He's just a kid. It's not usual for kids to talk like this. Okay. Um... Air Cutter, definitely. That was almost worth it. Hidden Power. This could be really bad, or hardly anything at all. Alright, not too bad. Uh, air Cutter again. Get a crit, just... Thank you! Wow! Okay. The crit gods are on my side for once. And that levels you up. Nice. Level 18. Oh, seriously, that was it. Okay, I thought they had more... I don't know why I thought this trainer was harder. Um, okay, so I guess that'll do it for this episode. I'm not gonna fight the gym leader yet. Because, like I said, I mean, only, like, two people on our team are at the same level as the gym leader. Three... I think I'll stop three at 19 or 20. I'll probably benchmark everybody at 19 or 20. It really depends. Um, probably 19... For these two guys, at least, I'll probably try and get three and Polly up to 20, since they're close enough. So, yeah. Uh, but I've been Remy. This has been Pokemon Sacred Heart Gold. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.